Hi guys, I just had to make this vlog, right? And I hate the word vlog, like it's such a weird word. I digress. So <laughs> I got this comment from a guy, Chris Igo. I used to watch his real estate channel because um, he does a lot of real estate in Florida and it's kind of a hot market that I keep my eye on. So I was always watching his um, channel. And recently he was recommended to me in the feeds. It was a second channel of his and um, it's more of a personal channel, like his personal journey through life. And it really inspired me really inspired me a lot and I don't know if it's because his other channel is so professional um, and then the new channel is very raw and just seemed really genuine to me. Now, you know, maybe I'm easily fooled, but I felt like the couple vlogs I watched of his, I've only watched a handful, Chris, if you're watching, I will watch the rest. Um, but I felt like his the way he translated across was so genuine. And I was like, I wish I could figure out how to do that just the way he does. And I mean, <laughs> I am starting to think now it's either in you or it's not. And I'm not sure, but I am dedicated to sharing my journey just like Chris. And he left a comment on my other vlog that I have posted and it just really inspired me today even more. Like, I'm super inspired by this guy. I don't know why. I'm sorry, Chris. I wish I could tell you exactly what it is. But I think it's just your genuine nature. And just don't see that a lot anymore. Um, just everybody's fake and, you know, like, oh, let me make it look good for TV, you know, or let me like make it look good for social media. And I'm tired of that. Like, I, I don't tune into YouTube anymore for the people that have a million subscribers. I don't tune in for that anymore. I want real raw people. I want reality TV, really, you know, like on actual TV, it, it was reality TV for a short period of time and it became scripted. I don't want scripted reality in my life. Uh, I live in reality and maybe it is scripted because it's a simulation or something, but I don't have the script to go by. I don't have it, I guess, unless I write my own, right? So. I'm just kind of surfing through, surfing through this matrix. And I want that genuine kind of vlog. I want to harness that and figure out how to do that. I don't want to edit out like the fact that I'm tickled by this hair that's touching my eyebrow. I don't want to edit out, um, you know, a cough or a sneeze. Like I want to be a real person and I want people to be inspired by that. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Oh, well, um, <laughs> when you get into YouTube, it's, it's interesting. It's like, I feel like some people have an agenda and some people don't. Some people want to make money. Some people want to teach you something. Sometimes it's both. Um, I'm in a lot of groups with feedback and the feedback I'm getting, it's, it's mixed, right? You know, some are like, I love it. I subscribe. And some are like, you suck, you know, <laughs> seriously, like straight up, you suck or, or, um, I've had people say, you, you seem to have a low opinion of yourself or um, just general things like, um, you know, your channel is so scattered, it's all over the place. And it is. And, and the truth is, I'm like that. I'm scattered. I'm all over the place. I mean, there's a core set of things, right? You know, I do specific things, but I am scattered. It's just the way it is. So I want to niche down like they recommend but i'm not sure i do like i can't decide i'm not gonna worry about it i'm not gonna worry about it yet and then i mean there's so many other things like i just feel like i don't want to come on here with an agenda right I, i'm not trying to gain a million subscribers i don't want to be um a mini cnn and regurgitate narratives i don't want to talk politics i don't want to talk um about my job like you know I want this to be separate from work I don't want to really even mention my kids unless I have to um I I just want this to be maybe a venting session I don't know I want this to be a genuine share um and then my other videos I want to just be useful I guess I mean I do all kinds of things I so I figured just put them on a channel 
right? And then, so I put my channel together and I asked for feedback and the feedback's like, it's all over the place. <laughs> it's like, well, that's me. That's me. That's raw, baby. That's raw. But I have gone in. I've gone in and tried to organize it a little bit. Um, I've tried to clean things up a little bit, do a little more professional. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you start a channel, you want people to watch it, right? And it's really sad when you have your analytics chart and it's like showing you like, oh, this is where they watch. This is where they, watch. This is where they dropped off. And it's like a lot of the time they drop off right before you say something that you think is profound or important. And so that says to me, you better get it out of the way right in the beginning, right? Just get it out there. But it's whatever. With vlogging, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can do a hook and a teaser necessarily. Maybe. I mean, you can do a clickbaity title. Um, but, you know, I got some feedback on my last title. 1.2 wasn't enough to, to click on. So I get it. That's not enough. But I feel like maybe my quirky weirdness eventually will be enough for you to click because you see a 1.2 and this would be a 1.3 because I'm still in the first chapter of this vlog and I'm trying to figure it out. So let me get my footing, baby, and then I will get with the clickbaity titles, okay? And I'm just figuring out the thumbnails. So, I mean, thank you for clicking, guys. But yeah, I look forward to more. This is great so far. I'm really having a good time, I really am. So I just wanna thank everybody, everybody comments likes subscribes thank you so much like i really appreciate it i can't do it without you right 